Speaking with Billy Rosado, 76 Olympian for the United States, here at the Dave Schultz Memorial. Bill, you're helping uh, coach with uh, a, a women athlete. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with her and with coaching you know, athletes in the women's division. Well, obviously I've followed the women's wrestling, especially since uh, Sunkiss has always been involved with it and Trish Saunders, uh, you know, set the, put the women's wrestling on the, on the, um, on the map, so to speak. But, um, you know, there's a lady, this lady, uh, Michelle Moscato from Las Vegas, she approached my wife and I about helping her out. And at first I thought we would just sponsor her financially. And uh, I called around, I called Terry Steiner and I called Trish Saunders and several other people who've been involved with women's wrestling. And um, at the end of the day, they said that she was probably in um, better hands just working with me in, in Nevada. It's been a challenge though. We've um, had to recruit kids from around town, uh, high school champions to work out with her and get sure. her up matches. But, uh, it's similar what Trish went through when she used to have to work out with high school guys. That's right. So yeah. That's how I got involved with it. She sought us out and interviewed us. She's got a degree in finance and is a wonderful person. So we decided we'd, we'd help her out. And she had to wrestle Elena Perishkova today. Huh? Yeah. That was a tough first draw, you know? Well, but you know, you're going to get better by wrestling the best, that's right? right. Do you enjoy being in the corner? I mean, as part of this I kind of an it. event, I haven't been in the corner at this level in a very long time, so it's uh, it's exciting. Let's talk a little bit about it being an Olympic year. I mean, it, it's been a while since uh, you were up in Montreal, but we're in the middle of an Olympic year now. Uh, is that uh, an exciting time for you? Every time, every four years comes around, and it's another time for an Olympic Games. Every four years is exciting, and right? um, we always look forward to watching the, the events and. Um, Hoping to get to one here soon, you know? In well, they speak of, English in London. It's not that true. far away. <laughs> Might be a fun one, you know? I mean, do, what, what kind of memories do you have from your Olympic experience? Was it something that was positive and something that you can look back at and have good stories about? Always, absolutely. When, when times get tough or the business struggles seem to be more than you can uh, uh, surmount, um, you know, you look back at the years that you wrestled, that I wrestled, and the things that I did to to accomplish, um, you know, making the Olympic team. I was told coming out of high school, I was too small to wrestle in college. Yeah. I was turned down at the U of A, and um, years later, I'd be in the um, Arizona State Hall of Fame and haven't made an Olympic team. So for a guy who was too small to wrestle, um, I don't think I did too bad. <laughs> now, you were one of the original Sunkiss kids, right? I mean, we're looking back 30, I don't know, maybe even more years. Uh, going back to the 70s when, when Art Martori got a crazy idea with all his friends, uh, you know, down there in, in Phoenix to really pump up a wrestling club and go national. And uh, What kind of pride do you take with the, the club as it's developed into one of the best sports clubs in the world, yeah, really? A lot of pride. You're bringing back the lime green uniforms. Remember the <laughs> lime green sun-kissed <laughs> uniforms? And, uh, but you're also dating me. I was the first Sunkiss. Yep, team, so that's what I, I have. That designation. They have those lists, and Billy's right there. <laughs> I have that designation, and I'm, and therefore I'm the oldest. That only makes me very old. But um, you know, Art Martori at the time, I was, um, I had been a uh, freestyle national champ in in, free, in in Arizona, and Tom Dubin was personal friends with Ron Easton and um, Art Martori, and they got them to sponsor me for a, a, t a trip. And so one thing led to the next, and we started Sun Kiss Wrestling. Right, and then for decades they've been national champ and one of the, the biggest producers of Olympians we've had in our sport for sure. But Art's here today, you know. know. That's, it was <laughs> fun to see him. Yeah, I mean, did you get a chance to run into him much at all? I mean, yes, yes, we talk quite often, and of course, living in Vegas, I get down to Phoenix for different events. I help sponsor the Sun Kissed uh, Golf Tournament. I've helped sponsor different events, and. Um, so we're very much involved. You're going to be able to stay and watch the men freestylers tomorrow? My son is um, competing in um, the Navy ROTC AMI uh, competition on Friday tomorrow. Okay. So I'm going to be there. I'll be so you're here quickly, tonight. you help coach, you get home and get back to, back, back to the routine. Right. Will we maybe see you at the Olympic trials? Yes. Oh, that'll Finally. be great. Outstanding. Well, thanks, Billy. It was you're fun welcome. to see you, man. Thanks.